Hi, hello, it's me. A few weeks ago, I was contacted by Gaomon asked to review one of their drawing tablets, the Gaomon M1220 pen tablet. After replying to a few of their emails, I got the package, so here's the review. This sweet doodle board has over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, 8 express keys on the side that you can set to your liking, and 13 multimedia keys on top of the tablet that you can use instead of those on the keyboard. The package also comes with a pen, a Type-C cable, a bunch of nibs, two USB adapters, a mouse pad with a bunch of short keys written all over it, a baggie, and a glove. I started using the mouse pad right away because my old one was over 10 years old and slowly crumbling apart. You can use this tablet with laptops and PCs, tablets, and even smartphones. Before starting, you need to download the needed driver that you can find on their website and restart the computer. After I did that myself, I ran into a bit of a problem because everything was in Chinese. But after a bit of stumbling around, I figured out if you go here, you can change the main language to English, but you gotta restart your computer again in order for it to work. I was told a little bit later that you can set the language while installing the driver, but I guess I must have missed that part. And after that, you're all set. Since I try to focus my channel on animations, I thought making one would be a perfect way for me to test this tablet. I use Krita as my animation program since it has a handy timeline at the bottom of the screen. I wanted to make a simple looping animation and ended up making that swingy dance from a photon meme, which in the future I will most likely use as your character here slot. Last summer I bought a used Cintiq, despite Ginger Ninja's warnings, after 4 months of saving for it through commission work and we've been inseparable ever since. I wasn't sure if I could go back to a non-screen tablet, and I was right. It was hard as heck. By now I'm used to drawing on a tilted surface and this one change made me just so much slower. All my lines felt clumsy and shaky and the change in the overall drawing position made my neck and back just really stiff and sore, but that is just my problem. As a general review though, this tablet surprised me quite a few times. First and foremost, after opening the package, I wasn't expecting it to be so big. I put it on top of my Cintiq for measure and the screen slash drawing area were exactly the same size. After I was able to change the main language to English, editing the buttons on the side was really easy through the main menu. While drawing on Gaomon, I really liked the fact that while dragging the pen across the surface it felt like drawing on paper, which I think will be really helpful or just pleasing for the people who are just starting in digital art or have a background in traditional art. The little buttons on top were also really helpful and just handy in general. I mostly use them to lower or increase volume of music while doodling. It took me about 30 to 40 minutes to animate this and overall I had a really nice time. The mouse on the screen moves exactly where you put your pen to and the pressure sensitivity is also really precise. The pen itself is really light and doesn't need charging. I really recommend this to whoever is looking for their first drawing tablet or just more simple and cheap alternative. Also, during the Amazon Prime Days, which are June 21st and June 22nd, if you wish to purchase the tablet, you'll get 20% discount. All the links for more information or where to buy the tablet will be in the description. I'm not really sure how to end this video, but I hope you found this entertaining or at least somewhat helpful. Bye!